it wrong. Welcome back to JQ Outdoors. Um, so today we're in a nice little bit of woodland and we are going to be testing out the One Tigress uh, Smoky Hut and uh, the new hot stove that I bought uh, to, to match up with it. So I'll pitch the tent just now. I've never pitched it before so bear with me. It could be a bit messy. Um, yeah, we've had a wee check about. We're okay. It's a nice um, it's opening at the top above us, maybe hear a drone going about there. Uh, but yeah, I'll get you back once we set the tent up. So there we are, that's the, the smoky hut set up. Not a bad looking tent at all. So we've just got um apologies for the blue ground sheep, it was last minute. Um sleeping pad. Um zero degrees um bag and uh yeah the stove which we'll, we'll um fix up properly shortly. Alright, we'll bring you back soon. Okay, so guys, so there we are. That's the setup for this evening. I'm on the tarp. Um, Jordan's in the tent. So that's the rice in the pan. I've cooked. An omelette, as you can see there, and I'll just chop that up and that'll go through the rice for fried rice. So you can hear the nice sizzle coming from the pan with the rice in it, for the fried rice. So that's telling me there's a good bit of heat coming from the, the stove, which is good because we need a nice strong heat when we're cooking. So this will be the this will be the garnish for the fried rice. Here I've got my soy sauce mix, which is uh, reduced dark and uh, light soy, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of um, sweet chilli. Done that at home, right enough. Put all that in there. And then take our garnish and we're just going to pop that straight in. We've got a good mix about. And that's good to go. So what I'll do just is I'll pop that into a zebra belly can just to keep that nice and toasty while I get the main part of the curry done. I'm just going to dice some onions down. 
we're going to start the curry off. So it's a Chinese style curry that we're doing tonight. Um, and I have a powder here that I make at home. So it's like uh, turmeric, um, fenugreek, uh, garam masala, coriander, um, cumin. I just whiz all that down um, to powder and the, the, then you add a stock to it. A bit, you can buy these powders in the supermarket but I prefer to make my own just because a bit more flavour in them. Um, also what we'll put into that is we have some fresh ginger, fresh ginger, fresh garlic and some cardamom pods as well. Um, and it just kind of lifts the flavour. So the chicken curry, Chinese chicken curry, fried rice. We're using chicken thigh, boneless chicken thigh. Um, it's my preferred meat for a chicken curry rather than breast. I think breast dries out too quickly. So pop that there just now. But I've got a little bit of oil in the pot. I'm just going to add the cardamoms. Pop them straight in. The garlic, I'm just going to Press down, break up like that, pop that in as well. And the ginger, we'll just have nice pieces. Because we're not at the normal camp, I don't have my cooksa to grind all this down in. So we'll just keep whole bits in there. The flavour will develop through as it cooks. Another onions. And a little pine needle, which we don't want. So I'm just going to add some of my mix in here. Followed by some water. A little bit at a time, just because there's flour in with that mix and it just helps to thicken it. So it's a mix of uh, plain flour and uh, corn flour that I have in there. I think for camping I would probably switch to using just all corn flour just to make sure it doesn't go kind of lumpy. But that's looking alright. Bit more water on it. Heat coming off the stove is lovely. Should really be a wooden spoon I'm using for this, but it's at the other camp where we were originally going to go, but we changed our mind and we, we've seen a really nice spot, so we opted just to stay here and, and pitch camp here. and then we're good to go. I'll just pop the chicken in there and just let that just simmer away. And hopefully I've got the measurements right in my mix that it will thicken up. If not it'll be a little bit watery but that'll be alright. Pop the lid on and leave it for 
20 minutes. Hey guys, so first beer of the evening, just before we have something to eat, uh, the curry's cooking away nicely, it's nearly, nearly ready. So we have a, what's this we've got Jordan? Uh, I can't really see it, um, it's a Stigel beer. Stigel beer. Stigel. Percentage? Uh, 4.5. 4.5, so it's not... Too bad. It smells nice. It smells really nice. Well, cheers everyone. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's really good. good. Really cider taste it. Okay, so we'll just give the curry a little check. Yes, that is looking rather good so another 10 minutes for that and we'll be we'll be good to eat okay so that is dinner ready to be served and um, we've got the the curry Chinese style a wee bit thinner than I would normally have it but it's uh, yeah, it's good. It smells great. And uh, the fried rice, of course. See that. night uh, apart from a malfunction sleeping bag with a zip wouldn't zip all the way up so I had to cuddle into my little fleecy blanket as well so um, yeah nice to be out though but it is a, it's a cold morning this is always the hardest bit it's getting up and out of the sleeping bag but yeah need to be done yeah, so for anyone that's never been um, hammock camping before, it's always a good idea, especially in the winter, to uh, have like a pair of gloves, a hat, even a snood, or a kind of neck scarf, and a sleeping bag with you. So when you wake up in the morning, you can put it on. Just just makes it a little bit easier. Um, if you if you leave it in your kit or underneath your hammock, it can be quite cold but uh, I always keep mine in with my sleeping bag inside as well and the other thing I always do as well is I take a, a little hot water bottle um, and I fill it before I get to go into bed uh, it really helps it really helps makes it keeps you nice and cozy but just a couple of tips 
So this is what we're walking up to. It needs to be covering us snow. It is rather fresh, I must say. Yeah, so not a bad, not a bad wee night. Um, apart from the 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 sleeping bag kind of malfunctioning there, or the zip on it deciding not to work, um, I was a wee bit chilly at one point, but. I just kind of cuddled into my uh, little fleece blanket, um, kind of really fleece blanket, and that, that kind of that, that helped. Um, but yeah, it was it was nice, nice to be out again. Uh, not been out in a wee while, especially in the hammock. Um, I do like a hammock camp. Uh, Jordan was in the tent. Um, he was nice and cosy. Oh, we have run out of wood for the stove, so I'm just on the. Uh, the goal just now, I'm heading up to the the camp, my wee permanent camp, because uh, I know I've got, a wee, I've got a wee log store up there, so I've got some wood up there, and it'll be nice and dry, so we'll get that split down, get the, the stove on the go, get a wee uh, brew on, and then we'll decide what we're doing. I might actually stay out for a second night, um, now that the snow's here. Uh, I really enjoyed it last night, I've got to say, it's been a wee while. But yeah, I'll go and get this wood, and then I'll go and get the stove back on. Okay, so this is where we had our camp. As you can see, leave no trace. So that's us, done, packed, ready to, to head out, so we'll uh, we'll bring you back when we get to the, the other forest. Okay everyone, back at the house. Um, sorry I never brought you back, it was just way too cold to bring the camera gear back out and start filming again, so um, I reckon it must have been about minus, minus four, uh, at least anyway. Uh, it, was, it was really, really cold uh, and the chill was just, uh, it was just cutting right through the bo your, your bones, so we just put the stuff back in the car, headed home. Uh, I've got a nice warm bath running upstairs at the minute, so I look forward to jumping into that. Uh, so the trip itself was, was brilliant, really, really good, just nice to spend time with my son. Um, a couple of beers, chilled, um, you know, no hassles. Uh, hopefully try and convince son number two, uh, sorry, son number one to come out uh, at one point. Um, but well, yeah, it was nice, apart from the malfunctioning um, sleeping bag, it was, it was great. The, the tent, love it. Stove, love it. Uh, look at the tent, the brilliant. And if I was to take it out, I'll take it without the pole next time and just uh, either fashion a pole or uh, a kind of tripod type, type system or hang it from a, a kind of tree and just give a wee bit more freedom inside the tent with the pole not there. The stove was brilliant to cook on. Uh, it kicked off, kicked out some amount of heat um, in the tent. At times a little bit too much, so just a wee bit of playing about with gauging the amount of firewood and stuff in it at a time. Um, and it used so much less firewood than it would be if you tried to keep an open fire going all night. So yeah, lots of bonuses with it. Still not sure about the latches. Um, still seem a little bit flimsy uh, and not kind of strong enough to last any length of time. But but we'll see. We'll see how we go with it. But yeah, great trip. Some nice beers. Some really nice beers. Um, and when I come home, I actually come home to a, a nice package from uh, a subscriber. Same a subscriber, a friend. Uh, Jim, so thank you for that. Uh, a nice uh, bit of food for me to, to cook up with. I'm not going to see what it is yet because I'm going to that will be my next video. We'll be cooking with uh, this ingredient, and it's a fabulous ingredient. Um, really, really good. Um, you never know, I might marry it up with this because I've got an absolute find coming back out on the way out. Um, spotted some of these, which are velvet shanks. Yeah, good. Got not a bad wee, not a bad wee haul of them there. Let me see them. There we are. Yeah, so who knows? I might cook them up for lunch, uh, or I might dehydrate them, powder them down, um, to be used for for cooking through risottos or, or, or just maybe out in the uh, when I'm out camping next. But yeah, nice wee find. 
also uh, I've got a nice new book I'll just show you it there we are. Um, the foragers calendar so looking forward to a wee bit of foraging this year and doing some videos with that as well uh, anyway stop waffling a bath nearly already and uh, yeah it was great trip great fun thank you for everyone that has subscribed and uh, thank you everyone for watching the videos um it's it's just great to know that people are enjoying them so yeah leave a wee comment if you want ingredients for any of the the, the things that i do um the the curry powder or the curry mix for making the, the chinese curry is, is is great you can go and buy them i understand that but the but you make it uh, with the recipe that i've got uh, it's much tastier really much tastier um so if you would like it leave a wee comment and i'll i'll, I'll ping it on to you all right thanks everyone take care and uh, see you all soon Thank you.